Elaine Caress, and this is the evolution versus catastrophic theory of the solar system. So there are two branches for the theories of the origins of the solar system. Uh, the evolutionaries, and this involved generally natural processes. A good example of this is the most accepted solar nebula, uh, the most accepted solar system origin theory, and it's called the solar nebula theory. And this theory says that we start as a spinning cloud of dust and then just accumulate masses over the, during the rotation period. Now, this has a lot of other theories. Uh, some of them are not really accepted. And then the other branch is, is, is the catastrophic. Now, catastrophic theories involve some sort of event that change the natural causes of the solar system. So this generally involves impacts on some sort of major event. One of the most popular ones is that the solar system actually started when the sun collided with another star and this created fluctuations that accumulated masses all around the sun. So collision of two stars. And these are some of the examples of the two types of theories that we have for the solar system. My name is Lane Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is the evolution and catastrophic theories of the solar system.